Hello everyone, it's Prakash here and you are reaching WJ Labs. Today we are delving into the exciting world of using an HLW8012 based NG monitoring module. This is designed around the ESP8266 and Tasmota. If you have caught our previous video, you will remember how we effortlessly brought the data into node rate from this very module. If you have not seen it yet, I highly recommend giving it a watch before diving into this one. In today's episode, we are taking a step further by showing you how to seamlessly integrate this module with OpenApp. We will fetching the ng data from MQD topics and also demonstrate how to take control of the modules on board relay from OpenApp. You can also persist the ng data and you can take those data and create some dashboards in OpenApp. We will explore the same in upcoming videos. So being said that, let's get started guys. The NG monitoring system is already publishing the data to this particular topic under sensor. Also we can send out the commands to this particular topic to control the onboard relay. We can also validate that from the test motor console interface. You can see every one minute it is publishing the data to the sensor topic. So let's go to open app and we'll configure the NG monitoring module with open app. The first thing that we need to do is make sure we have the required bindings. To do that, we'll go into settings and bindings. So the one we need is MQTT and I've already installed it. But if you have not, you'll get the install icon over here. And apart from that, we also need JSON trans path transformation basically. So this will help you parse the incoming JSON payload to individual values of voltage, current and power from the energy motor module. So let's get to things after the bindings are installed. First thing that we need to create is a JSON, sorry, MQTT broker. To do that, get it to MQTT, MQTT broker and I'll just select the IP. It's a secure, not secure connection, so I'll just leave it. Okay, we need to also set the username and password. Okay, update it. Now it should show online. The next thing we need to create is the thing for the ng motor module. To do that again, I'll select MQTT, but this time we'll select generic MQTT thing. So here we need to select the broker or that we have already created. Then here select okay. Create thing. Now let's get into the thing and create the required channels. So first I'll create a number value and in topic we'll put this sensor topic over here. So state topic, we don't need command topic for this. Okay. Let's see what is there in advanced. Donate. So in here we'll put the transformations basically. So to do that, I'll just copy this and went to check the JSON payload. So basically it's root then energy. Then the attribute we want. So I'll go with voltage. Remove this. Okay. I'll put V. Thing else. So 
put it voltage okay create then again I will the channel for current we need to create another two channels one for energy I'll create another channel for the relay that's going to be on off switch the state topic is going to be this one and common topic as well so I'll just make it on off create okay so I'll just keep it load Now we need to bind to different items. So create a couple of items here. So we have already applied, so we don't need, I think. Okay, for load anyway, we don't need anything. And now if we make it off, the same result should get reflected here. You can see. And if we go here, yep, it's off. Now let's make it on. And it should get on. That's how we can control the load. Let's map other attributes as well. Configure voltage. Oops. Uh, okay. You right. Voltage, voltage. Uh, link. And you can see we are already getting the data. Current. Okay, now it should be 0 amps because there is no load connected as of now. And as of now, also it's showing 0. So let's see, test mode of what are the values. And you can see over here, total energy also is 0, 223 voltage. And current at virtual. There's no load connected, that's why you're not getting any values. But as soon as you connect load, the values should get reflected over here. So we can also check the items here, and you can see all the states of the respective items. So that's how we can configure or onboard an energy monitoring device to open app. I hope you have liked this video, guys. If so, hit the thumbs up button. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, consider subscribing it for videos like this. See you next time with our next video. Till then, goodbye.